Today we're talking about the differences between male and female ravens and how you can tell them apart. Sometimes this can be challenging, especially if you only see one raven by itself and it doesn't make any sounds. The easiest way to determine the difference is to observe a mated pair. Today we're going to talk about the differences between Terry and Teresa, a mated pair of ravens that I've documented for quite a while now. This mated pair lives in Southern California, but I'm assuming that mated pairs in North America share many of the same characteristics. Number one, size difference. I know, I've used this clip in other videos recently, but it's perfect for this subject, since you can clearly see the size difference between Terry and Teresa. He's not twice her size, but he's definitely larger. Number two, the sounds they make. They use the same sounds, especially when communicating with other mated pairs in nearby territories, as noted here. In addition to these common sounds that all ravens make, Terry and Teresa make their own special sounds when calling to each other or as a territorial display. Male ravens tend to make a quick popping sound like this. While females make longer clicking sounds like this. Males are officially the dominant of the two, and they get first dibs when it comes to taking food they find together. Throat pouch. This is a tough one because it depends on how much food they are carrying, but males tend to have a larger throat pouch that extends underneath their beak and down their neck. A female's throat pouch is mostly up under her beak and doesn't extend as far down her neck. This is more than likely due to the fact that males are responsible for delivering food during the nesting season, while females stay in the nest most of the time to protect the chicks. Grooming. Females tend to do most of the grooming. In Terry and Teresa's case, she does nearly all of the grooming while he barely returns the favor. So there you have five ways to tell the difference between male and female ravens. Let us know in the comments if you know additional ways to tell the difference, or if ravens display different characteristics altogether in your country or region. That's it for today. See you on the next one.